Hello, thank you. This is Jason Padgett with Ag Made Fun. I have another project for you today, which is always self-paced, which means you can do it at your own time and at your own will. Uh, this may seem a little creepy to you, but we like it and we love it. It's called the Creepy Crazy Compost. Creasy, creepy Crazy Compost. So let's um, make sure that you have your supply that comes in your bag. So you should have a, um, a water bottle. What's um, very special about these water bottles is that they have some holes in the bottom of it. And I'll let you know about those holes in a minute. So you have a water bottle that has holes in it. You also have the water bottle. I cut it already, but it has a top on it. And I'll let you know about that top in just a minute. You have, a, you have two plates. Uh, one plate is for um, the actual project. The other plate is for the drainage of it. We'll talk about that. And you should have a spoon as well. So you're probably thinking, where are my other supplies? But guess what? When you talk about compost, it's gonna be in your home. So what is compost? Compost is a pile of, you got different green material or green organic material. What is green organic material? Green organic material is things like, um, uh, things that come from your household that is food. Typically, I use um, orange peels, apple peels, um, uh, vegetable um, scraps. That's what I use. And it's also a mixture of brown material as well. Things that you find outdoors, grass clippings, um, um, leaves, uh, dead leaves, um, you know, straw. So it's a mixture of um, green organic material and brown organic material as well. So what we're going to do is put together our compost. Now, one thing about or our little compost bin, one thing about compost um, that is, is, is good for the earth is that it helps decrease the, um, the trash going into the landfill. And so that's why we're using a, um, a recycled bottle, trying to keep bottles out of the landfill, of course. But then also we're using um, the, the, the scraps that we have um, that come from, the, from our kitchen and also that comes from um, the earth, you know, instead of just putting that stuff in um, in a landfill, we want to put it in a um, put it in the compost, and this compost can turn into um, it's going to turn into soil. So all those yellow and green and brown materials they're going to turn into black soil over time. And so we want to reduce greenhouse gases. There's a lot of vocabulary words I'm going to give you. So remember, greenhouse gases, land um, landfills. Um, you talking about global warming. We're trying to decrease all of that. So let's get started. So what I have is my um, water bottle and I have my top. And what I have here is some of my material that I have. When you build your, um, when you build your, your compost, um, you want to build it from the green material on the bottom. Those are the food scraps. And you put the brown material on the top. What that does is that uh, that kind of that kind of hides or covers the smell. Uh, what are going to be some of your friends in your compost are bacteria, fungus, and a lot of times you get worms, um, especially if you bring worms on. Because we're making our own compost bin, that's why I call it creeping. That's why I call it creeping. Uh, if you had your compost outside, worms would just find its way to the compost. But because we are doing this inside the house, uh, those that don't feel like you can do it inside the house, you can just put it outside the house after we finish. So when you do, when you build your compost, we have three friends that, that, that we're gonna have. Uh, bacteria, fungus, and uh, they're gonna be these things called microbes. Microbes are this, those, those little bacteria that grows and that fung it grows inside um, of your compost that helps break down the food. So let's get started. So what I have here is I have some broccoli um, scraps from my house when I cooked the other day. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna build my compost by putting my broccoli scraps inside. You don't have to break it down if you don't want to, um, but you can if you want to as well. So I'm gonna put my broccoli scraps on the inside. I have my leaves, uh, my stem, that all goes in the inside. You have your spoon so you can kind of smush all that down. And I'm telling you this, um, this is really true. It may sound crazy and creepy, but that's why it's called creepy crazy compost. Um, if your food, when your food sits out, especially when, when it's hot, if it doesn't stink when it starts spoiling, you may not be eating real food. Real food stinks when it breaks down. So that is my green organic um, material. This is my brown material. Now, when I say brown material, brown material may not be brown. 
I'm using grass. So I'm using some grass from my yard. I'm just put it on top. Put it on top and I just, just tuck it down. And typically, if you are um, a real compost bean, a real compost pile takes about a good year. And the reason why you have your spoon is so that you can kind of um, you can kind of stir it up because what you want to do is, is that you want to activate um, the the um, the actual microbes and you want to activate the compost. Um, the reason why we also have holes in the bottom because everything needs air. You don't want it to. Um, you, you want your composter to build, but also you want that air to release as well. So I'm adding some of my um, leaves to my compost. And I also have some water as well. It's amazing, I was, as I was doing my research, I found out that most vegetables um, have water in it. And when you put a, um, when, when a lot of this compost, when you take food scraps to the landfill, it get mixed in with some of the, um, with, with some of the, with some of the trash. And that is a, that is a term called leccate. Leccate is, is, is when, when the, when the water um, and that trash filters down and goes into the, um, in, into that groundwater, you have what's called leccate, and then leccate is, is, is some of that contaminated air that kind of goes in um, the contamination that goes into the air, and that's what kind of um, you know attributes to global warming, and so that's what we want to keep out. Also, when you put food into when you put food in in, in a landfill, what you have is that that gas, that, that methane gas. Methane gas is that gas that you smell when food start to break down and to decompose. Um, and remember those words I'm telling you, decompose, um, leccate, um, global warming, greenhouse gases. That's what happens when when those, um, when those the food just kind of start to break down that greenhouse gas and that methane kind of goes into the air. That attributes to global warming. So when you talk about the Arctic, um, when, when, when you have that water, um, when you have those ice caps that starting to melt and then the, the, the water's rising where you have those um, those Arctic animals like the penguins and the polar bears, you know, their, their, their habitats, you know, are changing. So that's what we want to do. This is why we're doing this crazy, 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 creepy compost. So what I'm going to do is just add a little water to this. And what water does, water just activates it. And, and one thing that water does is that when you have all of this um, kind of mixed in, um, it's almost like you planting a seed. What that water does, that water is going to, um, going to mix in with all those materials and, uh, and and when it gets hot when it gets hot what you do is that you um, you can cover your um, your compost bin with the top on you cover with the top on to create that greenhouse effect what does that greenhouse effect do that greenhouse effect it warms up you know so when you put this in a sunny window it warms up um, um, and then it activates that greenhouse so that stuff starts to break down, start to break down. But you re remember, you know, you see the dripping of water, that's what you want. You want that water to drip down because you don't need all that water in that. You need some holes so it can air out that way. So um, what you do, um, after you finish your activity, you put this in a window seal. Um, and when you put it in the window seal, you uh, it just kind of activating um, the compost bin. Um, if you want to add water to it, um, you can just take this off and just simply, if you have a spray bottle, you can add spray bottle to it or just simply add water to the top of your garden and you just let it go. Uh, again, this is Jason Padgett with Ag Made Fun, um, teaching you how to create your own DIY creepy crazy compost bin. Happy eating, but don't eat this.